Hi everyone, I'm in London. I'm at Heath, well, I'm just near Heath Road, Heath Five to be exact. Um, just got here, really. I flew from Glasgow to Heathrow this afternoon. I got like the 12-ish flight. I didn't have time to film this morning because I was in a bit of a rush. I finished work kind of late last night and I wanted to just go to sleep even longer this morning, but I had to wake up and get ready. Um, just got here and I'm a little bit of a... It's quite humid outside. The weather's not like amazing. It's not sunny. It's cloudy, but still I'm gonna make the best of it today. Um, yeah, and go into London in a bit. But I just wanted to show you the hotel room. I've stayed here quite a few times before when I used to commute when I was cabin crew. Um, it's just Hilton Garden Inn, um, near Hatton Cross. It's really easy to get through from. Really easy to get to from T five. So if you're ever in Heathrow, you need a hotel to stay at. This is a pretty decent one. So yeah, I'm gonna just show you the room. Um, I just quickly like come in and dump myself. I don't even have too much stuff this time, so it's a miracle. <laughs> so yeah, let's start the room tour. Okay, so this is the entrance. Okay, I got the queen room, I think this is. Um, and yeah, this is the bathroom. So just open up this. There's a tissue there, but that was mine. <laughs> so, and this is the toilet. Yeah, it's a really decent hotel to be fair. And um, yeah, the customer service is all really, really amazing as well. They're super, super friendly at reception and everything. Um, and then yeah, it's got this wardrobe as well. Two clothes extra. It has an iron it, an iron, sorry. Um, extra towels up there, it's got a safe, an iron board, uh, so there's that, luggage holder thingy, <laughs> here's a spring, uh, Air Force Ones, obviously, and um, this dress, I got it from Sheen, hope you like it, <laughs> um, and yeah, this is the bed, oh gosh, why did I come in and just dump all my things here, right, <laughs> my, my jacket, I'm going to move that out of the way, it's my suitcase, and just some like nice tea and coffee amenities and you come in now and it's got wipes there and there's a remote control a mirror and yeah nice lighting in here okay goes where oh gosh if i can open the window it'd be helpful here's a new this is my lovely view i'm on the first floor british airways it's the, um, behind that, so behind that block is, if you can see the sign there, I'm pretty sure it's, and that is the training, you do all like, um, your like entrance training, you know, your first training when you come, when you start a cabin crew training, it's an engineer block as well, they have loads of like different build, they have like different sections, they have different things like engineers, um, they do Qantas training before, come and do your yearly recurrent here, and you'll do like your first class training, your um, club training, which is business, so that's, that's a little tour of that. For today's plan, um, I'm gonna go into London, I hope it just doesn't rain that much more. Place I want to go to it's in I think it's Charing Cross which is not that far from here just in get true on the Piccadilly line I think get off that Leicester Square and um, yeah it's basically it they do like Korean hot dogs like Brunswick or Brusick Brunswick one of those two and they do basically like corn dogs and it's like you've seen it on TikTok it's like they're literally they're like the latest craze of like Korean hot dogs it's like cheesy and oh I'm gonna go get that because obviously hot water obviously cannot freaking even function without it so these are the cans i got they were three for six pounds which is quite good um blackberry gin bramble i got cosmo and a passion star martini I hope these are nice um they're really cold as well so yeah i'm gonna have a little drink i need to charge my phone too so yeah i just wanted to give my hair i just thought that was a curl what's the line saying guys what is it saying I'm gonna hold you up with my liquid bag i got you oh. but my liquid bag ain't on me i kind of like just gave my hair like a little bit of a curl a little bit of a curl 
you know, you know how it is, right? You know how it is, right? I'm gonna pretend that I'm Irish today because weirdly I can do the accent all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> this is killing the accent. Sorry. Sorry if you're from Ireland. I've just destroyed your accent. I really apologize. Um, <laughs> right. I'm gonna try and fix my hair a little bit. God, it's gonna look crazy. I forgot to show you guys my tattoos. Show you one. Um, you've obviously seen this one as well. And these two. Um, but I've also got another one which is behind my ear. I'm really hoping I got some good footage of that tattoo because I don't know if I did or not. I could not focus. Also, look at these nails. I love these nails right now. They are so cool and cute. Um, totally on trend. I saw them on Instagram and I was like, okay, this is my nail inspo. Okay. Okay, I've decided to like wear this earring. But my ear's already hurting with it. It's like, you know, quite a heavy earring to wear, to be honest. It's going a bit red though. I can feel it's going a bit red. It's fine, it looks good though. So it looks good, it's worth it. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna go get the tube. Jello? <laughs> Sunday today and I'm gonna go to Borough Market. Last night I went to Brunswick. <laughs> well my voice is a little bit croaky this morning. Last night obviously I've shown what I was eating last night. It was that Korean kind of, I got the potato mozzarella um, and just a lot of cheese. Just a lot of cheese. It was actually really tasty though. Like I actually really liked it and I always wanted to try it since I've seen it online. So glad I got to try that. And it wasn't like expensive or anything, it was like £5.90 just for that. It was a nice atmosphere. The shop is quite small and there was a sign on there saying like, please don't record inside. Um, just to respect their staff, it says, which is, yeah, understandable. Um, on that street as well, they have Nature Republic um, and like that's the cream skincare brand. Well, it's like, um, I would say maybe like a boots or something compared. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong compared to boots. But I would say that, yeah, I mean, they've got their own brand things in there, so, and it's actually a good shop. I remember I went there in Seoul um, and got, like, a few things from there. I didn't go to one in London, but I don't know, I might might go there if I've got time today. I'm obviously leaving tomorrow, so it's a very short trip for me. Um, so it is, um, it's a long dress. It's just like a long, like, summery dress from Sheen. It's actually really nice. I don't wear bright colours, like, normally. So this is like, oh, uh, it's a bit out there for me being like really bright red. But yeah, I actually do really like it. I broke my nails, well, oh, I don't have any plasters and I just don't want to like cut it off, do you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh, I'm a bit scared of that. I didn't really get to film last night in like, um, in Leicester Square because it was so busy and also I couldn't find the place. I got off the tube and basically, um, the in, there was like no signal, like the signal was so bad, like for three, I feel like signal is so bad in any like major cities, like you can't get any signal. So I was trying to walk around and just get some signal and trying to find like Brunswick and then eventually I found it. It was literally just up the corner like from the tube station, so um, it was fine. But yeah, I to film in Borough Market, that's why I'm going to Borough Market. I had to get two tubes there and yeah, and then I found like a... There's like a nice Mex like a Mexican place that I found. Might eat there as well. Hopefully I get to film. Hopefully I don't know what the vibes like. I don't know if it's busy. I've never been there before. Yeah, I'm definitely also gonna try and do my best to, to obviously film for the vlog. God, I feel like the same 
doing vlog, I'm just like, really? Am I actually doing this? Like, am I actually doing this vlog? But yeah, I'm obviously gonna do I'm gonna try anyway. I'm probably the worst vlogger there is on YouTube. Um, but definitely gonna try. so I'm back now I went to Borough Market and I went to um, Piccadilly Circus all the fans are there you know I'm gonna show you guys what I got I went to Whole Foods um, kombucha drink but guess what I did right so it said it says on it do not shake and what did I do of course of course I was like the first one I've got to turn the TV down. Um, I was like the first one to bloody shake it, wasn't I? And then I opened it and it went everywhere, yeah. To um, the Tesco in Piccadilly, but there was just so many fans in the kiosk. I can't stand it, I have to go. So I just got this. This. And yeah, some Batman chicken. Um, is that all I got? Oh, from Whole Foods. I also got this chocolate. 
It looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, and that was it, really. Pretty much just gonna like chill now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a shower and everything and just pack my things for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Or might just from the airport at T5. See how busy it is as well. I feel like it's getting totally back to how it used to be though. When I arrived um, on Saturday, it was feeling like, it's not like rat and busy, but I guess I'll see how departures is tomorrow. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, yeah, let me know what you got up to. But for now, we don't know the scores, so we don't know what was happening with the game tonight. So God, it feels a bit weird like filming like this because we don't know what's happening. And by the time I upload and edit this, we're gonna know. Oh my God, ah, it's like nerve wracking. I was gonna say like, with our makeup and wearing a mask, like I feel like, I don't know. I literally haven't even touched my face at all. I mean, it looks oily, yeah, like I know where it's gone oily and stuff. Um, I guess the only difference I really did was I used um, the Laura, Laura, obviously, the Laura Mercier setting powder on my eyes. I put concealer and then I put the powder and then I put like, well, eyeliner just takes me ages to do. And I, I've always tried to like avoid doing eyeliner because I can never do it. But I feel like this isn't that bad. Like it does look alright for me. Like I, and it's quick, like the process is quite quick. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so this is the brush I got. So that's the brush that I got. Um, and it's from Beauty Bay and it's their own brand. It's actually a really, really good eyeliner brush. And I just used the NYX um, Gel Black Liner, um, the Mousse one, I think it is, which is really good as well. So yeah, that's all that I do. And um, it hasn't like smudged today. I've been all right, actually. Even though I've been wearing the mask, I've been getting like, really hot as well on the tube and everything. So with the tubes right now, they're like not even that busy. Like I remember I used to hate going with the tubes because they used to be so, so packed all the time um and now it's like not like literally it's like half it's like half because i guess because of all the tourists like it's hardly any tourists here do you know what i mean um because of coronavirus yeah so if you want to come to london and you live in the uk i 100 percent advise to come now because yeah you can get around so easily easily and there's just literally like oh i used to just hate getting cute tube because of that reason i'd avoid it but honestly you don't need to avoid it now Gonna try this chocolate. I'm gonna turn the TV down because I think it's a bit too loud. Give me one. I'm just watching Say Yes to the Dress. I love that show, Say Yes to the Dress. So good. I'm gonna try this chocolate out actually. And uh, I just opened it. And it's like this. Very unique. Ah, it's in recycled. Ah, this paper is sustainably harvest wood right cool look at this this is fair trade mm. so it's from peru and the dominican republic Let's see if i can open this one-handed Dark chocolate with a hint of orange. I couldn't decide what to buy there. I'm gonna seize it in a minute. Always happens to me when I eat chocolate. Always like the first bite of chocolate, I always sneeze. That's so weird. Buy this um kombucha too. I've already drank it. Oh my god. This one's not good. It's like vinegar. Probably because I sh I shook it, right? Maybe that's why. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted by um the British Airways building. That's the hangar, right? And last night they had an aircraft in there. Um, and yeah, maybe tonight they'll have aircraft as well because they it was open last night, but I didn't film it or anything. It just tastes like vinegar. Where is the mango? This one's really bad. They didn't have the one that I got from America. So I didn't know what to get. Three mint tea that I bought. I need to drink that and this and some like pre, like a mixed cocktail drink. I got for m and the can. I'm gonna watch the game. 
need to have a gun. <laughs> a gun. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, I hope they do have an like, aircraft in the hangar. That is the hangar, right? The hangar. Yeah, I'm sure it is because there's an aircraft. Am I wrong? How embarrassing! Yeah, but I'm not an engineer, so. But I know what the hangar is. I s I swear that is a there's an aircraft there too. I'm gonna have a look, but I hope there is because it looks like every it looks amazing when you see it. Like honestly, even if you're not into aircrafts and stuff, like I'm not like that. I'm not really into like I'm not an AV geek or anything, but you know, even if you're not as well, or like or even if you are, obviously if you are, then it's amazing. But if you're not, it's still pretty cool to see. Okay, so why don't we end it here with a little surprise? Oh my god, it's the hangar. See, it is the hangar. Look, there's an aircraft. <laughs> okay. Ta -da! Told you guys. 